Hi viewers, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing very very good. Today I'm going to show you a very typical uh, vegetable and fish uh, recipe which I call it bean and fish roe uh, fry. This is a very dry kind of fry recipe and I'm going to cook fish roe, any kind of fish roe. I'm using uh, Rui fish roe which is Asian fish but you can use salmon fish roe or any kind of fish roe and with some French beans or snake beans, whatever beans you have available and that's a very very yummy uh, fry dish uh, and it goes really good with rice so yeah I'm gonna show you step by step how I'm gonna make it just stay with me So here I took 100 uh, gram of uh, fish roe and I used rui fish roe which is a typical Indian fish but if you don't find it just use salmon fish roe that's gonna work perfectly uh, alright with this uh, kind of recipe. So yeah one uh, fish roe and I squeeze it and I make kind of like a mash of it. So you can see I took all the membranes off and uh, it's just the fish, uh, fish roe here. I took around 200 gram of French bean and I finely chopped it. So it's, this is just regular French green bean and I finely chopped. Two medium sized onion, roughly chopped, you can see. And three green chili, I cut them in the middle so it's not going to be too spicy. Three chili should be uh, okay for the whole dish. So at first I added a uh, three tablespoon of vegetable oil and I put the onion and I'm going to fry this onion for two minutes till they are lightly golden brown. At the same time, I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well, just to cook my onions a little bit quicker. So after around 2 minutes, when onions are lightly golden brown, now I'm going to add around 1 teaspoon of uh, ginger paste and 2 teaspoon of garlic paste. I'm using a little bit more garlic than ginger because fish roe have really strong kind of fishy flavor and some people don't like it, especially I don't like it that much. So that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic than ginger just to kill the uh, smell of it. And it tastes really yummy actually, trust me, if you add a little bit of more garlic than ginger. And now I'm gonna fry them for another two minutes just to give them a little bit of a, a chance to spread all the flavor. So after another two minutes, you can see I added around two tablespoons of boiling water not to burn my ginger garlic paste and now I'm adding one teaspoon of turmeric powder, actually one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. This is just the regular spices I'm using. I'm gonna add around two teaspoon of red chili powder. It depends how much spice you want but fish roe uh, really uh, tastes good if it's a little bit spicy but if you are not a spice kind of person just add one teaspoon. And now I'm going to add around 2 teaspoons of roasted cumin powder. You just make sure that your roasted cumin powder you are adding a little bit more than uh, turmeric and chili because that's going to give really nice kind of flavor in the final dish. So now I'm going to fry these onions and spices for another 2 minutes till the oil comes up. So after another 2 minutes of frying you can see the oil came up and the spices are almost done. And now I'm going to uh, add my... Uh, squished or mashed uh, fish roe if you don't mash your fish roe they're gonna be like kind of like big chunky pieces and you don't want it because they need to be like uh, mixed and uh, perfectly mixed with the beans that's why we have to uh, squish it uh, or mash it I used my hand but you can use a potato masher for it and I took all the membranes off that's why they are kind of like loose and uh, they are easy to cook and you don't need to press too much to break them because you already uh, broke them when you mashed it. So now I'm going to fry this fish roe with these spices for another 2 to 3 minutes. They're not going to take too long because they are already like small small fish roes. So I don't want to overcook it for 2 minutes. So within 2 minutes you can see already they changed their color and they are almost like half done now. Because these fish roes as I said they are very soft. They don't take too long. And I've been frying uh, nearly 2 minutes now. So, and as I said, this dish is so nice with plain boiled rice and it's very healthy because if you are not uh, fancying to eat fish, just cook this dish and eat it with plain boiled rice. It's so yummy. So after two minutes of frying, now I'm going to add all my finely chopped uh, French beans. You can see how my, how uh, how uh, finely I chopped it. It's not too fine, but it's very kind of like small pieces. They look so pretty and at the same time they cook so uh, well with the fish roe. 
so now I'm gonna fry these uh, beans and fish roe together uh, nearly three to four minutes just with, uh, um, without adding any water just to give them a little bit of time to take absorb all the flavor from the spices and as I said, when you are cooking fish roe, you need a little bit more oil uh, than as usual other dishes because fish roe actually uh, uh, soak quite a lot of oil. So you make sure you have enough oil in the recipe. And this is a fried dish. This is not kind of gravy kind of dish. So you need a little bit more oil than normal curries. So I'm going to fry them nearly three to four minutes just like that. And at the same time, I'm adding around a half handful of coriander leaf here. This coriander leaf is going to give a really nice kind of uh, fresh flavor in the final dish. So I'm going to fry them all together. So, yeah, I'm going to fry them all together now. And I already added two teaspoons of salt before. So I don't need more salt at this moment. So I've been frying my beans and egg roll, uh, fish roll together nearly 3 minutes. So now I'm going to add around half cup of boiling water. Because as I said, that's going to be like 5 kind of beans, but still you need to cook the beans. I really don't want too much crunchy beans in this uh, recipe. They're not going to be too mushy, they're not going to be too crunchy in, in between. So I added half cup of boiling water and now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to cook it for another 6 to 7 minutes just like this. So after 6 minutes, that's how my beans look. You can see all the water actually uh, the fish will absorb. And now I'm adding those uh, three green chilies which I cut them in the middle. This is going to be really, really nice flavor. They're not going to be any kind of beans. You, you can add more green chilies if you like but I don't want too spicy so three should be fine. And you can see how good they look already. And now I'm going to cook it for another 3 to 4 minutes, just like that. So after around another 3 minutes of frying, that's how my fish egg uh, roe and the bean looks. So they are like almost done. And now I'm going to add another 1 teaspoon of 1 or 1 and a half teaspoon of roasted cumin powder. That's exactly at the end. After that, you don't need to cook anymore. You can switch off your hob because that's going to give really nice kind of toasty and roasted cumin seed flavor in the final dish. So when your uh, dish is done, then you add another one or one and a half teaspoon of roasted cumin powder. And after that, just mix it and that's it, done. Your recipe is done. So here you go guys, this is my beans and fish roe uh, fry is ready for you and as you see this is a very simple process, there is no complicacy and nothing, it's just so simple to make and it's very very yummy with plain boiled rice and it's so healthy as well at the same time. So as I said you just cook this dish and enjoy with your family and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends, family and neighbors and I hope you're gonna make this recipe and enjoy it with your whole family. So bye bye, Ta -da. take care.